Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life, and in this video I'm going to show you the basics of using tables in OneNote. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks a little bit different than mine, it may be because you're using a different version or a different device. I don't know of any significant differences in the way tables work on various versions of OneNote, so I think you should be able to do everything I'm going to show you, but if you do find a significant difference on your device or version, drop a comment below and let me know and let everyone know. That would be awesome. So let's start with what tables are. Well, tables are a way to keep page elements separate, organized, and somewhat structured. Uh, and by page element, I mean anything you can put on a page, so that could be typing, a picture, uh, an emoji, a list, etc. Tables are also a formatting tool. So they help you just to kind of format your page and have it look the way you want. Next, we can talk about what tables are not. Well, mainly, they are not a spreadsheet. Spreadsheets have a lot of capability that tables just don't have. Um, tables don't even have the ability to like add up a row or column of numbers. Tables are also not very lockable in size. The width of your table and your columns within your table kind of varies based on uh, what you put in there. And then same thing for the height. Your row height will vary based on uh, how tall your cells are, your cell input is. The other thing is sometimes tables are not great for making really pretty OneNote pages. They can look cool, which I'll show you later, but I probably wouldn't use a table for a presentation. Um, I might use something else that makes for a crisper presentation. So before we get into how to make and modify a table, I'm going to show you some examples of tables that I've made. So this is my first example here, and this is a table I actually made when I was looking for a backpack. It's a very simple table. It just has the specifics of backpack one versus backpack two, um, the color, the dimensions, the price, and the weight. And this was really helpful when I was shopping because it let me see that these two backpacks are actually really similar. And I think what it came down to is that um, one was just designed to be a, a little bit more basic in style and the other one was designed to be like a little bit more modern or sort of urban chic looking. Um, so the next example is a table I do every year. This is my annual plan and I just put big events for the year in this. Um, this lets me know kind of what months have personal things that I want to celebrate or big events coming up. And it also lets me know when I have open space throughout the year. So for this year, um, if I had a big project I wanted to add in, I might do that in May or July, which are empty. The final example I want to show you is this fun uh, sticker kind of thing I made using a table. Um, and it's a uh, but coffee first. So, you know, do this one thing, but coffee first. Um, and this is a three cell table uh, where the top cell has some text in it, the middle cell has a to-do tag, and then the bottom cell has text and an image. And I do have a video on how I created this. That'll be linked in the description. So these are just some of the things you can do with tables. So let's get into how to create a table. So you're going to put your um, mouse wherever you want your table, click insert and then table. And you can specify anything up to a 10 by 8 table. Um, and if you don't know how big you want your table, just pick something because you can delete and add rows, which I'll show you later. So I'm just going to do a 6 by 3 table. And there it is. I'm going to, and this outside um, outline here, this is called a, a container in OneNote. Usually it's called a text container. Um, so I'm going to make um, this whole thing just a bit bigger. I'm going to make the font size bigger just because it'll make the whole table bigger. So the font size is currently a 12. You can see it's pretty small. I'm going to make it a 20. And you can see the row height got bigger. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you is how to insert a row. So I'm all the way over here on the right, or I'm sorry, insert a column. I'm going to click insert oops, from the table menu, click insert columns. And you can insert to the right or to the left of where you are. So I'm going to insert to the right. And then um, adding a row is equally easy. Uh, I'm up here in my upper right cell. And I'm going to click uh, insert above. And so I just added a column and a row to my table. 
Similarly, it's easy to delete rows. So I'm going to click on this second row. I'm going to delete a row, and then I'm going to click on this column here, and I'm going to delete that column. So adding, deleting, very easy. Next, I'm going to show you how to shade. So I'm going to pick this column here, and from my table menu, over here I have shading. And when I click the drop down, I have all these options. So you have these color families, which are nice. You have these standard colors. And if you want even more, you can click the more colors menu. And each of these will give you tons of shades. So I'm just going to pick a basic shade. I'm going to pick light purple for that. And you can see it puts a nice shade on there. Now your table stays within this uh, text container that it's in. So if I wanted, say, my purple column to be wider, I can do that. Um, I can also, and it's still inside the text container, I can also make it narrower. And I can drag my text container out to give me a little more room if I wanted to add some things. So I'm just going to copy and paste this sentence here. I'm going to paste it in, and you can tell that the cell's clearly not wide enough to accommodate that sentence and it got wider. Um, and if I, I'm going to repeat it, and you can see that the cell height, the, the row height is growing, the height of the cell and the height of the entire row of cells is growing because I'm adding more and more lines of type in there. And then the final thing I want to show you is if I were to make this font even bigger is that it would change the row height again. So now you can see that top row is really tall compared to the others. So that's kind of the basics of tables. Um, now I want to show you some cool things you can do with tables. So this is a um, neat little visual, almost like a sticker that you can create, and it's very easy to do. It's just a one cell table inserted into a one cell table. And then I shaded the bigger of the two tables, this dark blue, and then the inside is a light blue to create kind of a sticker look. So I'm going to show you how to do that. My cursor is here under the word demo. I'm going to insert a one by one table. From the table menu, I'm going to go ahead and shade it. Let's see, I'm going to do this nice dark green. Now my cursor is inside of the dark green table, and I'm going to click insert table, and I'm going to insert a one by one. Now I do have um, a table inside of a table now. You just can't see it really well because they're both shaded that dark green color. My cursor is inside the inner cell, so I'm going to, from my table menu, I'm going to shade that inner cell this nice light green color. Now you can see we kind of have the basis of this one by one sticker looking thing. So I'm going to start typing in here, and you can see the size changes now. Um, and if you want it to be more squarish in shape, you can kind of drag your text container back. Let's make our font nice and big so we can enlarge the whole thing. So it's at a 12. I'm going to go up to a 24. Drag my text container. Now it's kind of squarish. I like that. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is center it just for a little change of pace. So um, if you like this, you can kind of just make copies of these. You can change the colors. You can do that. But it creates a nice graphic uh, pop for a, an, an element on your table you really want to highlight. And it kind of has a sticker looking look. The next example I want to show you is this is a tracker that someone might use for a full week. and. I just put this together because it shows a lot of the different things you can put all in one table. So it has some shading in it. It shows that you can use the to-do tag. You can use numbered list. Um, this line that has mood on it, these are just emoji from the Windows keyboard. So, and, and I did format this line to be centered so that each emoji is right in the middle. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, you just click the Windows and the period key and you get an, an emoji keyboard to pop up just like that. And then these weather icons, you could use any sort of clip art you wanted. Um, and then 
these I got just but from Word. Word has an insert icon command, and I just copied them straight from a Word document into here. So I just think this is really like kind of fun because you you know it combines all kinds of different uh, things that you can do in OneNote in one table. And then this final example, these are um, formatted ombre to-do lists, like with the shades, and I love this kind of graduated color change. I have a video on how I did this, but this is another way you can make things look kind of nice. And you can save these and reuse them. So you can see these are both blank. So if I put them onto, if I made a copy and put it onto my page, I could use the one that I put onto my page and save the blank to use later. So the last thing I want to cover is some shortfalls of tables. So one of the biggest shortfalls is that there's no calculation capacity. So if you're doing something where you're going to be entering a lot of numbers that you're going to want to do some math on later, you might be better off using a spreadsheet. Number two is you don't have great control over cell size. So if you want something where you can really lock your cells to a certain size, you might want to consider something other than a table. You also can't combine cells, so um, that's something you can do in a spreadsheet or in some other formatting programs, but not in tables. But all in all, I think they're um, really useful, and even with the shortfalls, tables you know, can really be used for some interesting and fun and useful things. So that's it, an introduction to tables. I hope you enjoyed using them, and if you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer you. If you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as videos on goals and life management, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, and let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.